There are no blueprints or roadmaps which clearly mark out the course. The limits of the job are no less than the limits of the universe. The history and the scope of NASA, one of the most important organizations of our time, is truly mind-blowing. Let's take a closer look into, as well as learn some interesting facts involving NASA, or the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which is part of the United States government agency which conducts research involving outer space. Hey guys, thanks for joining me here on another episode of FTD Facts. I'm Leroy Kenton, and uh, I'm so excited to do this one because a lot of people have been requesting this for quite a while now. And before I get into this video, guys, I want to know if you could travel anywhere in outer space, where would you go? Me, I'd go to Mars. That's always been my favorite planet ever since I was a kid. Okay, so let's begin with the facts. NASA was created by President Dwight Eisenhower in 1958 in response to the Soviet Union's launch for the first artificial satellites the previous year. The Americans called this the Sputnik Crisis. The crisis became such a big deal that it was actually one of the main reasons for the creation of NASA. There have been two different NASA logos, the meatball and the worm. So the meatball is the original logo and also the current logo, so called because of the blue sphere representing the planets, kind of looks like a meatball a little bit. Now in the 70s, NASA decided that it needed a new logo to refresh the agency's image as forward thinking and futuristic. And the new logo reflected this ideal. And it just had the four letters NASA so simplified and stylized that even the cross strokes in the A's were removed. And this was all an attempt to make the logo on a whole look more aerodynamic. But no one really liked the worm NASA logo, so they went back to the meatball. The first human in space was a Soviet cosmonaut, Yuri Gagarin, in April 1961, followed by John Glenn, who became the first American to circle the Earth in a little Mercury capsule in 1962. Humans went to the moon in the year 1969, and the first space shuttle, Columbia, flew in 1981. Those are some little interesting facts about NASA that I kind of just put into one heading. Okay, well, let's talk about women in space. Sally Ride was the first American woman in space, and since, there have been many more. But no other woman has ever walked on the moon. An interesting fact about her trip, though, is that NASA engineers actually asked her if 100 tampons was sufficient enough for her seven-day mission. Anyways, this is not a biology episode. It's about NASA. Let, let me continue on. The shuttle era of NASA began in 1972, and the, for those of you who are confused, a space shuttle is a big, wide spaceship that looks like an airplane, and is probably what most of you imagine when you think of NASA and space travel. But what you may not know is that NASA currently doesn't have a space shuttle program anymore. The program ended back in the year 2011 due to budget cuts, and the last three shuttles, Endeavour, Atlantis, and Discovery, are now museum pieces, never to be flown again. In the year 1991, Space Watch discovered an artificial body near Earth that has now been listed on NASA's astrophysics data system as a possible alien probe that was observed in the vicinity of our planet. Its orbit was supposed to bring it back somewhere around the Earth in the year 2016. All right, I got another fun and interesting fact regarding NASA. So check it out. There are these three men from Yemen who sued NASA for trespassing on Mars. They claim that they inherited the planet from their ancestors 3,000 years ago. But hey, if they don't live up there, how can you claim it? In 2006, NASA admitted to having accidentally recorded over the original tapes of the moon landing. Fortunately, NASA wasn't the only group that was recording. Copies were found by CBS and Johnson Space Center, and they're currently being restored. There is also a team of NASA scientists who have been pretending that they're on Mars. They live and work in a dome on the side of a Hawaiian volcano and only go out in space suits, all for researching what it would actually be like to live on Mars. And the final fact I want to share with you in this episode is NASA has two satellites chasing each other around the Earth to track the distance between themselves to measure gravitational anomalies. Their nicknames hmm, are Tom and Jerry. 
But before I go, this episode of FTD Facts was brought to you by Grammarly.com. Grammarly is one of the world leading softwares in improving your written English. There's hundreds of spelling and grammatical errors built in the software that will automatically correct whenever you make any mistakes. The link is down below where you can download Grammarly for free and start improving your written English right away. And also, if you're loving Grammarly, you can purchase the upgrade for even more features. So that is it for this episode of FTD Facts on NASA. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Every time I talk about space, it always gets my mind racing as to what is actually out there. Like, do other real life human type beings exist? What else are we gonna discover out there? The decision rests with you. Hey guys, so since you came to the end of another episode, I don't want to leave you without any other videos to watch. So here's some interesting videos about our planet. Be sure to come back here every Monday to Friday for new episodes and I'll see you guys real soon.